Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashani, or better yet, known as Forever Trap. And people have been asking me about this necklace. I will put it in a link below. I actually got it from Amazon. Super cute. And if you don't know what it says, it says Forever Trap. Um, however, look, I have a like foundation leaking down my hand. So you know that we actually went to work on this video, period. So if you do like this look, go ahead and get my actual first impressions and actually how I really felt about it um, when we go ahead and move forward. Let's get started. Hey gang, you know exactly where we are in the video, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. The products that we are reviewing today, it is the Juvia's Place foundation concealer powder the whole nine yards i know that my eyes are already done um and it looks pretty snazzy or whatever but today is not actually about my eyes it's about this foundation that actually came out um so this is what she looks like so the container itself um, I feel like it's definitely a lot smaller than what we're used to as far as foundations are concerned, but this bad boy is only $20. So by the time you, you know, buy a very expensive foundation, you can probably buy two of these and be just fine. I look so casket ready around my eyebrows, but it's okay because hopefully this foundation does the trick. If you do follow me on social media, I did swatch this and it was so pretty. And I was like, okay, so I gotta hurry make my video. Um, I did, um... Get the color Campala, so it's 340. My shirt's doing something weird, I'm so sorry. Um, and I do have the concealer as well. This is just the color 15. So you see the 15. Oop. Now, honestly, I think this 15 is just a little too light. However, we will, you know, just use it for the purpose of the video. And then I also got the setting powder, which is in Kalahari. I don't know if it's picking up good. There it is. Alrighty. So, we're just going to jump right in. Um, I am going to go ahead and prime my face really, really fast. So I'm just going to throw my braids back. And I am using the Milk Grip Primer. So everybody's like so excited because this is supposed to be like so true full coverage. As you can see, I don't have a ton of blemishes on my face. However, I am a little discolored around here, of course, and a little bit here as well. I'm not gonna color correct, which I usually don't color correct, um, but so often anyway. But we're gonna go ahead and start exactly with this. Exactly with this, whatever. So being that this does not have a pump, it's just like a squeeze out, and it is thick, so ain't nothing dripping out, honey. I am just going to basically just put this like on the back of my hand. And I don't really know how to really measure that, but that's what she looking like. Um, and I'm just going to grab a, just a nice little clean foundation brush. And I'm just going to, ooh, this is thick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side. I do not have a mirror right in front of me, so I'm just going to grab this mirror here. I'm going to do it right here. So right away, you can already tell it's covering up all the darkness that I had. Especially right here on my mouth. Okay. Alright. I do have half of my face on and wow that looks so stinking pretty and look how it covered up this eyebrow like you ever see like a foundation where it just doesn't work out as far as you know covering up around your eyebrows oh my gosh y'all I'm just still I had to like stop the camera for a second cuz bro look at this chin action bro like it's too pretty, it's way too pretty. 
I am in love. I love this. Wow. It looks very flawless, like no effort whatsoever. And I still have all of this on my hand and I'm pretty sure I will be able to cover the other side of my face. And we can go ahead and keep moving forward, y'all. So I am just gonna go ahead and get the other side on and then we'll keep on pushing forward. And boom, all right, so I have my entire face on. It's looking so stunning. All right, with the foundation lips. But it's totally fine. I'm just so excited about this foundation. I think I might have found my very affordable, not even in the drugstore foundation. Juvia Place almost like never disappoints. Like I've never had any like bad experience with Juvia's Place. And I'm just so glad that like, first um, video with my yellow backdrop, it is with this foundation because I am looking popping. So we're gonna keep on moving forward of course. Um, the next thing that we're gonna try is this concealer. So if this concealer is too light, it's definitely not Juvia's Place. It is myself because I just ordered everything online. I am so effing lazy that we have an Ulta probably like 20 minutes from my house and I just didn't want to drive. So I bought this. And I did swatch it and it did look pretty light. So I'm not gonna go super heavy handed when I go to um, actually put this on. Okay, okay, so all right with the one swipe. So that was just one in out motion and we do have a lot of coverage. Again, I did not wanna go heavy at all because this is looking mighty white, sis. So I am just going to go ahead and try to blend her out. And again, no fault of Juvia's because I just picked the wrong color, but let's go. so I have all of my concealer on now and actually this does not look as bad as I thought I probably still could have went down a shade far as brightness I don't really like my under eyes to be too bright because I wear a lot of loud eyeshadow anyway it didn't sound like I said eyeshadow but I say eyeshadow um but no this actually looks really really pretty it is very very flawless in the looks it looks really, really good. And they actually pair up very well together. Even though, you know, of course, they were made together, they're supposed to work together, you'd be surprised. But no, this actually looks very, very good. So we're gonna continue to go ahead and move forward. Things that I did notice, um, of course, I haven't noticed any smells as far as like the foundation, the concealer. Um, the concealer, again, one dip, this doe foot that's actually used, it puts me in the mass of the Tarte one but it is very, very big. So that means it holds a lot of product. So that one in and out motion, that means you're saving a lot of product for a very cheap price. I wanna say this may have been like 12 or $13. I'll put the correct pricing somewhere along the video. But okay, so those two things we are looking Snatch tummy. So I do have their powder and it could be the same thing with the powder. I feel like I might have bought this a little light as well. Again, this is the color um, Kalahari. And one thing, another thing that I noticed, of course we noticed that this is pretty small. Um, this is very small as well. And it could be just because it's very cheap in price, but it could be like a marketing thing where you buy multiple because you know they're small. And I'm gonna take another beauty blender to put this on. Just open up my little mirror. Just gonna dip in. Alrighty, so let's go. So right away, what I noticed is that it actually blends out very, very well. It almost looks like the concealer, like, I don't, I don't know. It's very pretty though. And it's very soft. All 
Okay, so I do have on the setting powder now. Again, it is very, very soft and it doesn't have a smell. It Again, it's, I think I might have actually picked out all the right stuff, crazy enough. Yeah, my luck isn't set up like that, but thank you. Um, so I'm gonna leave it on for a second. I am gonna um, try to put like a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes, if that's a good idea. Probably not, but I am just gonna do it anyway. All right, so I put on a little mascara on my bottom lashes just because I just felt like it or whatever. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and start brushing this off. And again, I do just want you to see exactly like what it looks like. It looks very soft. Like, especially on this side, it literally like melts it into the foundation. It looks really, really good, y'all. Like, I'm not mad. Okay. So, that was the three things, just that quick. I am going to finish my face, you know, bronze myself up a little bit, throw a little lipstick on, and we're gonna come back with our final thoughts. So I'll be back in. So gang, I am back. My face is completed at this point. And honey, I think I found another foundation that I am absolutely 125% in love with. And here she is, Bow. Even though she looks travel size, she is not here to play, honey. It's so funny, because I have like one bump on my face and it's this bump right here and it is like highlighted. It's cute though. Anywho, this is her. So, do I approve this? 125% yes. First off, it's only $20. And they have a huge shade range. I wanna say it's like 40 or 50 or so. And I'll make sure that, of course, that is in the video as well. So you're definitely going to find your shade when it comes to this here. I just... I just can't believe it. I mean, actually, I can because they always just come and they snatch it up and they just do what they do. Love it. Um, dual with all three. So do you technically, hypothetically need all three? Honestly, I would just say yes, because you always want to pair up um, items together that actually launch together. But then, of course, you want to go on later to see if it works well with others, like your badass kids, okay? Um, so, these three, I 100% love them all, and I actually ended up picking out all the correct colors. This could have been lighter, but it still ended up coming out very beautiful. I love it. So. I'm here for all of the Juvia's Place collection that actually came out. Honey, <laughs> I just can't stress it enough. It is, it's like that. Like if you haven't tried this yet, please do. Like this all together probably is like $56 or so. It's probably not even that expensive. I bought a palette the other day that was equivalent to having all three of these items and this makes your face, not your eyeshadow, you know? Um, so that is that. So that definitely gets a thumbs up in my book. Um, before we go, I always just wanna thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you always stay tuned in and make sure you go ahead and hit the bell before you go. That way you don't miss anything moving forward. And again, you guys, this is so snatched. I'm so excited and I'm just so glad to be back on YouTube. Like YouTube is definitely a passion of mine. But before I start jibber jabbering, have a good one and I will see you next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as well. See you next time, gang.